Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I have another layout using the Scraptastic February kit. I had two sets of kit. I had the Feel Again and the Mr. Big Stuff. This is using the Feel Again pattern papers, but the, um, the embellishments and stuff, I kind of put everything together. And so I'm not really sure if it came in which kit it came in. So now I'm going to show you some close-ups of all um, the pattern paper manufacturers. And I kind of gave that pattern paper a little rub <laughs> because it's my favorite pattern paper. I absolutely love it. I went on Simon Says Stamps and I tried to, found, to find the 12 by 12 pattern paper. And they didn't have any, so I was I was a little disappointed because I really I would love the twelve by twelve collection of that. So I might have to go and look somewhere else. I know some people said that all scrapbook steals you can get really good deals, but shipping to Canada ridiculous. It was like sixty dollars. Like there's there's just no way I, I can pay that for for shipping. So I'll just keep looking. I thought that I got this. Um, embossing folder and um, you know this month my challenge is to use older products on my layouts and yes that embossing folder is new but my cuddle bug is old and I want to use some different uh, ways to use my cuddle bug this month and so that's going to be I said products but it's products tools you know like different things that you can do on your layout and now I'm taking some white ink from close to my heart and I'm just defining the doilies on the pattern paper and I don't end up using it on this layout but that's okay because I'll just you know put it aside and use it on another layout and um, so that's gonna take me a few minutes and I didn't I didn't cut it out because sometimes you know you you have an idea and it just doesn't pan out but that's okay it, it you know I'll, like I said I'll use it on another layout and then it just kind of made me think of other stuff that I could do this is the third layout I did with this kit it took me an hour and four minutes to complete and I haven't even uploaded the first layout yet on YouTube so I'm ahead on my voiceovers too and I had said for a bit that I was going to upload every second day because I, I felt like I kind of fell behind. But my last two days that I was off or my last day, I ended up like pumping out a whole bunch of layouts. So I think I'm going to be good to upload. Um, if it's not a layout, um, there might even be two videos a day because I want to do an album share I sat down last night at work and I sort of did a YouTube channel uh, planner for the whole month of March and um, so I have quite a few things planned to, to upload to my channel in the next month so stay tuned and um, I hope you guys will enjoy it and now I wanted to use my sewing machine because I don't find I use it enough and for me that's an older product because I have all this thread that I bought maybe three or four months ago and yes it's not three or four years ago but the sewing machine I bought about a year ago and I haven't really used it and I want to get this stuff used up and so what I decide to do to give it a little bit more sort of oomph on this page is I'm going to end up changing my thread three times and I'm sewing around the perimeter of the layout so the colors I chose were a dark dark blue or black I think it's a dark dark blue and then a pink and a light pink so two colors of pink and a blue and I'm doing it kind of wonky all around the page and you'll see when I get to the end of the layout you'll see um, I took a picture of a close-up so you can kind of see how all wonky it is but I really really love it and I'm like I said in the next few loads you're going to see that I have used my sewing I'm going to be using my sewing machine a whole lot more and then I brought out some older products 
<clears throat> that I was just going through my stuff going, you know, this is the month that I want to use some older products. So what can I kind of pull out from my stash that I can use? And for a while I was having quite a bit of issues with my sewing machine. And um, I did change the needle. And I think you just need to change the needle, especially on paper, uh, probably quite often. So I changed it maybe a month ago, but now that I'm starting to, you know, doing a whole lot more layouts, I'll probably do maybe three or four more layouts and then I'll change the needle again. I just bought a whole bunch of them anyway, so I have um, a bunch to use. I went to my fabric store yesterday before I went to work, or maybe it was the day before, the day before. And I got a whole bunch of threads again. And oh my goodness, the colors. And then I got a coupon that if I use it between the 2nd and the 6th of April, if I buy more than $30, I'm going to get $15 off. Anyway, so now I'm just going to see what kind of all the colors that I have. And I'm, I'm definitely going to go and buy $30 more worth of threads. So that I, you know, basically I'm going to get them for $15. And this picture here was taken on Mother's Day in 2006 and I remember because we had made uh, we had gone to the park with the kids and we took um, pictures with just my last two kids because at this point my oldest kid um, was 18 so she didn't want to follow us to the park anymore she was graduated and <laughs> didn't uh, or almost graduated and didn't want to follow us anymore and I, I tried to use those doilies on the page and it probably could have worked but I'm going to go with the theme of hearts so I'm just going to end up using some uh, transparency hearts instead. Now that pattern paper that the back side is that heart from crate paper I absolutely love it. I love the back side and that's the pattern paper that I wish I had like three or four sheets of it. I would love to use that other side as a background, those hearts. I can see using that all the time. I might have to go to two peas in a bucket and see and maybe order some. Uh, this here is a film strip edge. It was um, a stamp from Kaiser Craft that I just got in my last order. And that's another thing I'm trying to do. If I get something new, I want to try and use it right away. I don't want to put it away and end up not using it. And uh, I flipped my cardstock over because I want to see if I want it in the full strength or if I want to stamp off. And I decided that I want to stamp off. I just wanted some extra texture on my page. So what I'm going to do is I have a scrap of paper there. And I stamped it off on that first and then I'm going to stamp it to the top and the bottom of the layout. And then I'm going to end up stamping it with um, where the third cluster is going to go. But I'm not sure yet what the cluster is going to be. So I'm just going to put the stamp set away for now. And I'm just looking. Now I'm going to go through the stuff and decide what kind of embellishments I'm going to put on this page. And I'm going to decide on some doilies. And I love these doilies from Stampin' Up. I bought a whole bunch. I think I have four packages. Every time I put in an order, I just order a package. They're only a few dollars and <clears throat> it's not as if I don't, uh, I don't use them. So that little piece uh, that I just put above that pattern paper, it just says with all my heart and soul. And there was so many embellishments in this kit. It is unbelievable. Like. I am putting tons and tons and tons on each layout and my container is still jam packed. <clears throat> I'm loving these Scraptastic kits. I can see that, uh, you know, I'm going to stay with them for a bit. So the, the title of this page is, I was going to say Mother's Day, but that's so predictable. <laughs> so. I was just looking at them and I just thought, you know, I just love being a mom. So I, I just put the title, Love Being Your Mom. So that's what I'm going to use. I used the little foam alphabet that came in the kit. And now I'm going through my own stash. And I'm going to decide on some letters. And a lot of it came from October afternoon from those new letters that they just released. And I absolutely love. I... Soon as Simon Says Stamps uh, get 
newer ones, I order them because they are not going to waste. I am using them all the time. And I'm so glad that those little alphas made, you know, a comeback because years ago there used to be little, little alpha stickers and I'm going to have to, I kept them all in little container thing. I'm going to have to take them out and see, you know, what I have left of those little stickers and see if I can start using those again. So again, I'm just going through the different colors that I have from those October afternoon and they're $2.99. Or two seventy nine or something like that. So basically, it's a dollar fifty for for each sheet because there's two sheets per packages. And there was a little jar, transparent transparency jar, that came in one of the embellishment kits. And it's full of little hearts. So I'm going to use that on the layout. There was a little frame, uh, chipboard frame. I'm going to cut it in half and I'm going to use it in two spots on the layout. And older product that I'm going to use this time I started going through my stuff and I found these fake stitching they're they almost look like um, the rolly things that you can use for gluing on your like for um, adhesive but they're actually it's almost like roll on rub on transfers and the ones that I'm going to use today is from Daisy D's and it's uh, it looks like um, a zigzag stitch and I'm going to use it on all the pattern papers and it looks like I stitched on the pattern paper see I, I took my machine out I was going to stitch all around the photos because I did so much stitch stitching on my layout and then I thought no use that because um, I had been digging through my stuff and saw this and I thought no I'm going to use that because I want to I want to use some older products and it's so easy to use you just make sure that you have it down the right way and you just pull and voila they're stitching on your page you know or on the pieces of pattern paper that you want to use it on and it adds such a great dimension to the layout I absolutely love it and then another thing I'm going to do, um, I absolutely love the stamp sets that came with this, this, well, it didn't come with this kit. You had to purchase it separately, but I'm going to emboss some hearts in red embossing powders, and I'm going to use it on this layout. And now I'm going to start gluing down all the embellishments and I do, I use a squit, a squitch, <laughs> scotch quick dry adhesive and I get it at Michael's and I use a coupon. And while I'm doing that, it, it just, I just thought of this. Um, I had someone put a comment on my YouTube channel and she asked me, um, she said something like, I can't believe how many layouts uh, you get done. Like, how do you stay motivated? And I'll let you guys know, you guys keep me motivated. I don't think I've ever done this many. I mean, I have a lot of um, albums completed. I do. I have tons of albums completed, but I've been scrapbooking for 15 years. So yes, I have a lot of albums completed, but that I ever did, you know, 200 layouts in a year, I don't think... I mean, I've never kept track that close, but that to me, I think that's the most I've ever gotten accomplished in a year. And I know it's because um, by doing the videos with the video camera and uploading them and you guys are just so sweet and it just motivates me to want to do more in these kits. I love scrapping with kits because I see a beginning and an end. I know, okay, I start with the February kit. I have this many number of pages, like pattern papers. I have, you know, 22 pattern papers. I have X amount of embellishments and X amount of cardstock. How many layouts can I get done and how fast can I do it? And it's not a race. And most times I end up spending more than a month 
I, I get like 15 layouts done in like maybe 10 days and then I go on a run at work that I work a lot in a row and then I it ends up taking so that I take I, I end up taking over a month doing you know a kit um, but that's okay like I said it's not a race but I just wanted to say thank you you guys are keeping me motivated I love um, getting this many pages done and I'm having so much fun and you know people are always leaving comments you know thank you for you know all the hard work and all the time that you put into this and I have to tell you I'm I'm having fun so uh, thank you to you for leaving great comments and keeping me motivated and making it so that I my kids will have lots of stuff to to read about and look at once you know later on and while I was saying that I added those stamp images I said I added some washi tape I used the floss that Annie gave me I separated it all and put it in a messy you know um, ball on my layout and I love doing that I used some Mr. Huey in three colors two types of red and one pink and I added a flare at the top of the layout I added some stamping from the stamp set and it says la 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 love you I added that in three spots and that's it the page is done so thanks for watching bye